I'm back in this shit and I'm pissed now I've been gone too long, so let me tell you the difference between right and wrong. It's been too fucking long, man. It's been like how many weeks? Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, five or six weeks. Five or six weeks too long, man. This is bullshit. But anyway, because I'm back, I gotta catch up on everything I didn't get a chance to speak out on. The debates. I didn't get a chance to talk about the fucking debates. Now, because I live in the hood, I live in the slums. All my friends around these areas were overwhelmingly choosing liberal, choosing Obama, and painting out Romney to be this patriarch that he isn't. And of course, since the patriarch is the general symbol of evil now, since it's like the reverse to the dialectic, it's the ways of the past, the sins of the past that we've evolved from, all of a sudden, you gotta, like, treat him like an evil-ass motherfucker, and the only reason they're coming up with this conclusion is because he isn't, he isn't Obama, he isn't the black guy from, like, Harvard. There you go. And, because, like, apparently if you're a Republican, that means you have to be this social, conservative, libertarian-ass motherfucker like me course that's not him at all now <clears throat> going in ahead it wasn't just the slum fucks it was a lot of university fucks cuz niggas that want to go to college but they don't know why they want to go to college are susceptible to public bullshit and that's what they went for. Of course, going into debates, debates are funny as hell. I was at one point hoping that they would actually get into a legit fight. There were a lot of moments of hostility, and that's kind of what was I was in for. Because they were both signs of the same disease. They are both leftist pretty boys. That's kind of what I basically described it as. A bunch of pretty boys trying to... Be the top dog, pretty boy. Trying to compete to be the leader of sexy. One, you got to touch a gray guy, and then the half black, sleek, older version of Drake looking motherfucker. So it was kind of interesting. Now, moving ahead until fucking Hurricane Sandy. That shit basically wiped out the financial sectors of New York and not really places like the hood, the slums, like I said. Because these are at the higher points of elevation, so they got the strong winds, but they didn't really get the hardcore shit. Also, a lot of suburbs got the heat, of course. Suburbs are going to take the brutality. So it was kind of interesting, that kind of irony. But it was mostly the financial sector. The working class suburbs, I don't really care for that because those guys took some heat and they didn't deserve it. But the financial sector, World Trade Center got more bullshit. Almost an 11 year anniversary of receiving bullshit. And that's kind of fucking interesting. MTA got a lot of damage. That shit took a lot of fucking damage. And now we gotta move ahead to the shit I wanna speak about. The shit that I really was more focused on. In general, cause like Arini predicted, like I expected, Obama got the next four years, his final term. And since that's gonna be the definite term of collapse, if not a few years ahead in the game, then I can only make a few assumptions to the people that voted for Obama. First off, 
and I want to say this honestly, if you are mad at him for signing the NDAA or SOPA or things of that nature, and now all of a sudden you are overwhelmingly for him, then honestly, you don't deserve to vote. And if you didn't know what the NDAA was or SOPA, then you don't even deserve to be an American citizen. Or a permanent resident, actually, but if you're a permanent resident, you can't vote anyway. Uh, anyway, aside from all that bullshit, I mean, it, it all amounts to the Electoral College anyway. And that's kind of what where the bullshit comes in, because... Now people are going to say, oh, it's not a democracy because it's all about the Electoral College. I mean, Obama got the popular vote, barely, and the fucking Electoral votes spanked the Romney with that, but you gotta admit, this is kind of corny as hell. The Electoral College system does decide ultimately who becomes the president. However, it's cognitively dissonant to say that because they decide who the president is going to be, that that means that it's not a democracy. Because I know that people that think that also think that the president has no power. So how can it ultimately be a republic when the president has no power? Or at least the past few presidents ever since the death of John F. Kennedy have been puppets. That's the thing I hate about charismatic people. Because charismatic people get you invested into something. They can, they're good at manipulation. But that doesn't mean that they're not puppets. Just because they're pulling your strings doesn't mean that they're pulling the strings. We all know that this society is run under a military industrial complex. Which ultimately decides all these race wars and gender wars, and other ridiculous bullshit that has plagued our country and kind of made it spiral out of control. Our nation, or Western civilization in general, has literally spiraled out of control. It's spiraling. Because there's two kinds of solutions to every problem. The good solution, which will solve the problem in the Bad solution that will solve it at first, but then create a bigger problem. And in this case, we're creating a negative solution. I mean, they all lead to new problems, every solution. That's kind of dialectic, but if you think about it, if we're better off with the old problem, then that means that there's something wrong with all of this. It shouldn't be that we're going through worse problems than our, because of our solutions. It should be that we're going through weaker problems, problems that we can manage, like, niggas don't fucking like taking shits outside, it can get the diseases, it's not sanitary, you get electronic, you got these indoor toilets, these indoor plumbing and things, and now people are having hard times taking shits, cause they're sitting like this, instead of squatting to take the shit, so their muscles are contracting and there's more digestive issues. Okay, that's a problem we can manage, because no one here wants to fucking take outdoor shits. That's a solution where there's a new problem, but that problem isn't worse than the old problem. Because taking a shit outside, digging a hole in whatever not or outdoor toilets that's kind of gross i don't like when they tip porter potties or stuff like that you don't know who's taking a shit especially now that this society is full of disease and whatnot i can imagine all the crap we'd have to deal with if we still had our outdoor toilets i mean we still do have them but most people take indoor shits i like how we went through how united states is run in terms of who has the power to taking shits. Other than that, going back to the old subject, since I'm trying to make an amalgamation of different things I didn't have a chance to say, 
<clears throat> now it is a military industrial complex and that's kind of where you see the ugly side of democracy where the masses are progressivists I don't like considerate liberal versus conservative it's more progressivist versus conservative because the liberal because in that kind of gets into this absurd thing there's neoliberalism and classical liberalism but liberalism is just an extent of progressivism right now it's all about a military industrial complex where people are militantly doing what the industries want us to do and we're kind of obsessed with that so we create a bunch of new conflicts um, there's again the ugly side of democracy where the public is basically forced to take on opinions that are destructive or put into this uh, zeitgeist where they have to where they have to be egalitarian it's just like before they were fucking uh, separate but equal fucking uh, segregationists I don't think segregationist is a word over there advocated that then they advocated egalitarianism and eventually they're gonna advocate for blind xenophobia which is what we're starting to see in Arizona I mean I don't want to live in a place where I have to show my ID at all fucking times I have to like carry my wallet with me all the time which I do anyway but I mean, think about how that'll, like, push us ahead. I mean, we're better off with this and that, and we're better off with the segregation and this, and we're better off with whatever came before segregation, which wasn't necessarily slavery. It was in between that time, and it was in between segregation and slavery or something else. It was kind of like recovery. Going back to slavery now, because we got to go to the foundation. Since slavery ended around the times of the Industrial Revolution, so we got to go back and see the root of all this. The root of the race war, because slavery wasn't necessarily an issue of race. It was Slavery was removed because it was unproductive, because of the fact that everyone's industrializing it. We gotta do things differently once we go from an agrarian society to an industrial society. Even third world countries have to accommodate to this. They have to industrialize too, which is kind of where we lost all control. Slavery had to end because it was unproductive. However, you can't really say that we freed the slaves. You can argue that we unemployed the slaves, that we got them fired, that they're the new Luddites. Because as slaves, yeah, they didn't have it very well. However, that was their lifestyle. And when they lost that shit, it wasn't like peaches and cream. They had to, like, recover and shit. And then, of course, we got the dialectic going on. And it's led to eventually this. <sighs> Again, society spiraling out of control. Now, because of all that's been said right now, I gotta like fill in the last minute with some new shit. So I still have like a brain full of ideas. And if you think about it, we're just looking for new and new things to get conflicted over because. This society thrives off of conflict because of industry, an economic good or service. Like I said in the death of industry video, a lot of industries are dying out. We got to find a way for them to like get invested in new things that aren't really worth it. Get them consumeristic and because of that, it's dying out. It kills itself. And we got to get invested in new issues too. Black, white, male, female, cis, trans. 